The first week of January and it's time for the annual animal stock take. All of these Humboldt penguins at London Zoo will be formally counted. A challenging task for zookeeper Jessica. We have 71 penguins here at the fall, so it's quite a big job, but we do it quite consistently. Every uh, single penguin has a unique set of markings, so they have a unique marking on their belly, so they have a spot pattern, so each one is individual, um, and then they all have a wing band, so it's like a little bracelet that helps us know who's who. Easy mode, basically. <laughs> but from penguins to meerkats, tigers and gorillas, the zoo's 14,000 animals are under review. It's not just the larger animals that are counted and logged, but every single animal in this zoo, including the really tiny ones, but that's not a very easy thing to do. And one of those difficult jobs has today fallen to amphibian keeper Una, who's got to record hundreds of tiny tadpoles. That's what kind of what technology kind of comes in. So we can use cameras, uh, we can take pictures of it, and then you uh, sit down, have a look at the picture, and you start counting and you can even like mark it even on Microsoft Paint you just take it and then you get like a rough estimate on how many animals we actually do have in there. As well as being a cute exercise the annual stop take is also very important for wildlife conservation. It's important that we've got a, a formal count of all our animals at least once per year that we then record on something called ZIM zoological information management system. We then share that with all our partners globally, with other zoos around the whole world, to make sure that the captive breeding programs are managed appropriately. Counting is expected to take a week to complete. It may be hard work for keepers, but a fun experience for all. Catherine Nash, Five News.